Welcome to Warriors Conversations. I'm Dr. Dan Johnson. I serve here as president at Wisconsin Lutheran College. And in this video series, I'll interview the Christian servant leaders that are making an impact on, on WLC. And today I'm, I'm delighted to be in our chapel uh, with our campus pastors, Reverend Wayne Chevy and Reverend Greg Lyon. And Rev Chev, as he's affectionately known here at WLC, you've served at WLC since 2013. And uh, Pastor Lyon joined us uh, in 2015, and both the graduates of Martin Luther College and Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary. Now, the, the role of WLC campus pastor is really unique. And maybe let's start with you, Rev Chev. Tell us about your ministry here at WLC. Well, when I first got here, I, I went uh, looking for what kind of opportunities and windows there were to make an impact on the student body, and I found out that there was about 45% of our students that were in athletics. Um, as someone who, who loves sports, I, I thought this was a way to make some inroads both with the students but even help the coaches along the way as they navigate some difficult situations. And so um, I, I recently had uh, the opportunity to move my office over to the recs. Um, and so there I have the ability to invite students uh, to my office. Um, to, to seek me out and to ask questions uh, or to work through some of their concerns, but then also really to be able to um, work with the coaches and to build them up. I actually do a coach's Bible study with them um, during the school year as well. So um, I'm thankful for the opportunities that uh, have been open to me um, to, to kind of go through some of the things that I love to do, but then also to help our campus family. That's awesome. Pastor Lyon, your role is slightly different than Rev Chev's. Uh, and this also isn't your first time serving here at WLC. You were a vicar under Pastor Strobel, our campus pastor at the time. And tell us about your distinctive ministry here at WLC. Yeah, so I was a, a campus vicar. We actually hire seminary students to work for us. We've been doing that for about 20 years uh, that we've had vicars. And I happened to be a vicar in about 2007, 2008, working with Pastor Strobel. So got to know the campus a little bit. And uh, then I was called back here in 2015, and um, Chev spent so much time with the athletes and, and enjoying, um, enjoying life with everybody and things like that. My time is spent a little bit more with those who are um, struggling in college. Pastoral counseling is really my focus. Um, so I work a lot with health services and, and uh, the mental health care uh, side of things, but also the spiritual health. Um, so it's kind of nice to be in a position where Students can come in and just kind of unload whatever they have to unload. Uh, it's a, a big passion of mine getting to know those people. Besides that, uh, there's a number of things that I do with um, Bible classes, one-on-one uh, -on -one Bible classes, things like that. Um, but also it's, it's unique here because we have students who are trying to find a church for the first time. And uh, I'll take, and Chev's done this too, uh, taking some people through a Bible information class here. And then uh, we've connected students with local churches. Uh, it's been, been really a, an awesome thing. We also have students who are at that age that they're starting to get married and they get to know us. So we do a lot of pre-marriage classes. Uh, so a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with students is really how my time is spent. Yeah, that's, that's outstanding. Yeah. You know, when you both served congregations, you had just a few services to prepare for and, and that's not the case here uh, at WLC. How many opportunities are there uh, for, for worship, and maybe start with you, Pastor Lyon. Yeah, so we have uh, chapel five days a week. We have a Vesper service on Wednesday night, and we do offer Sunday services during the school year. So, you know, if you have a, a church in, let's say, a semester's time, planning maybe 14 services, 14 Sundays, for us, that's seven services a week times 14. So I'm not the math guy here. There's probably about 100 services a semester that we're planning. So getting all the accompanists and, and planning all the hymns and everything, it's, it's quite a bit, but uh, incredibly rewarding to see uh, the amazing work that our students do. Rev Shev, there are several ways to get involved in, uh, in Bible studies here at WLC. What's all offered? Uh, just kind of clipping them off by the day. Um, a couple of years ago, um, one of our students, an, ath an athlete, um, started an athlete's Bible study, and I know recently you had an opportunity to, to lead that. And um, They're getting between 20 and 30 students at that on a Monday night. 
Tuesday night, the vicars who we talked about are seminary students. They lead a Bible study. Thursday night, it's Big Deal Bible Study. Uh, one of our Believe in the Green sponsors, uh, Big Deal Burgers and Custard Supplies, free custards for, for our kids. And, uh, and Pastor Lyon leads those. And then once a month, we have what's known as a Bible breakfast, uh, kind of a continental 30-minute, just maybe to, to start out the weekend and, and maybe people who don't have opportunities to make those connections during the week, maybe a Saturday morning is the right time. So a lot of those opportunities, and as he mentioned, one-on-ones as well. You know, at WLC, we want to build individual relationships with our students. And maybe, Pastor Lyon, how do you establish those relationships? Yeah, one of the ways we try to do that is uh, we, we offer freshman interviews to all the incoming freshmen. So what we do is uh, we'll, we'll create kind of a, a sheet that has a number of time slots that are available for me and, and for Rev Shev as well and give them to the RAs and they'll get everybody on their floor to sign up for a time to meet with us. And the goal of the, the freshman interview, it's really um, intended to be a non-intimidating approach to meeting one of the pastors. You know, because some people don't come in with a religious background. Some people maybe have never had a campus pastor before and they don't know what to do with a campus pastor. Um, but hopefully to open a few doors so that we can serve those students. And we want to put our money where our mouth is. We're a small school. And uh, one of the things we tell our students is that we're going to get to know you individually. So this is just one avenue where we can get to know these students individually so that they know here's one more office where they can be supported no matter what they're going through. That's, that's outstanding. You know, a new tradition that you started in 2015, the campus ministry hot dog days. Uh, tell us more about that, Rev Chev. I think we're constantly looking for those connections with the students and this was totally not intimidating. We have it out on the outdoor basketball court. Uh, it's an hour and, it, and it's once a month and it's rain or shine or sleet or snow or whatever kind of weather Wisconsin wants to throw at us. And we'll get, you know, in the good weather, we'll get anywhere up to 200 students. But in general, you're going to see 100 to 150 people uh, kind of passing, passing through main connections. Our campus ministry student workers, vicars, um, both pastors are out there at the grill. And so it's just kind of a, a time where we get to relax, meet, maybe talk about some things, and hopefully get to know some different people as well. And then be able to invite them to the Bible studies to Vespers, to chapel. A tradition that continues uh, is our, our service of light. Uh, what were your first impressions, uh, Pastor Lyon, and how has that tradition continued on here at WLC? Yeah, I remember the service of light when I was a campus vicar. Um, so back in the, like, like I said, 2007, 2008, I come into the chapel and, and we regularly seat, uh, we can fit about 300 people in here. Um, we will pack this chapel as many people as humanly possible. And boy, that, that service of light was just awesome because every single instrumentalist, it seemed like, that we have on campus, every single choir soloist is in here participating in the service of light. And the highlight every year, um, well, I'll offer two highlights. One is you get a lot of people in the chapel who maybe didn't come any other time. And they're hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ in an amazing way. Um, so to be able to hear what Christmas is all about and for them to be in this chapel, uh, hearing that gospel, what an amazing thing. But then we always close the service with Silent Night by Candlelight. And we kind of joke, we could do whatever service we want as long as we sing Silent Night by Candlelight. It's going to be an awesome service. But uh, that's a highlight for everybody every year. Last year, we continued with the service of light during COVID, but we did it outside. Uh, we still had Silent Night by Candlelight outside, and it was, it was just an, an awesome experience. So we'll see what this year is going to look like. Um, but the service of light is a tradition, from what I understand, predates me by a lot of years. And we, we continue to strive to make that a highlight for our students. You know, another uh, fun activity for our students is our winter retreat. About five years ago, we started um, by, by partnering with Martin Luther college in it. Maybe tell us more about our winter retreat, Rev Chev. Again, a, a tradition that predated us, um, an opportunity to get off of campus, uh, a weekend retreat, um, usually in the Stevens Point area, and the number of students th that we have that were, were a part of that. 
um, you know, here in between 60 and 75. Um, as the years have gone by, that number shrunk a little bit, more like 40, and so we thought, well, let's invite our friends from Martin Luther College uh, to, to, to come and be a part of that, to have Bible studies. Um, and the very first year we did it, it was about vocation, which is an interesting conversation because obviously they're training to be pastors and teachers, and we are training lay people here, and their professors come and lead uh, the studies as well. And, and it's a whole lot of fun. You get to do some outdoor activities, um, not too many um, sledding hills in Wauwatosa, uh, but, but you get out there, there uh, a lake that, that is open for broom ball and um, snowshoeing and all kinds of other uh, winter activities. And so um, it's been a great thing that we've been able to do and, and we're hoping that uh, we'll be able to do it again this year. Pastor Lyon, you recently uh, started Warrior Wellness Wednesdays. And, uh, and also opportunities to volunteer at, at the Lighthouse Youth Center. How's that going? Yeah, so the Warrior Wellness Wednesday, um, I would love to take credit for that, but I can't. I was plugged into what the students, what they wanted to do. And, and a lot of that I think came um, off the heels of COVID and, and during some of our more challenging times of COVID that, that people were struggling you know, mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, so how can we encourage students in a regular, consistent way. Um, so there's a, a committee of students, the Health and Wellness Committee, um, and Jackie Kakmarinski, our Director of Health Services, and I are also serving on that committee, finding opportunities to get information out about how to stay well, mentally, physically, spiritually. And um, it's gonna be coupled with a few different events throughout this, uh, uh, the course of the semester, maybe one big event a semester, um, that's just gonna encourage that wellness because what a unique opportunity we have at, at Wisconsin Lutheran College not to just encourage mental and physical wellness, which you can get at any college, but to couple that together uh, with the spiritual wellness, the gospel of Jesus. And then also uh, with the Lighthouse Youth Center, again, we have students who just wanna serve. And uh, we have a, a really nice relationship with Lighthouse Youth Center in downtown Milwaukee um, that serves uh, some, um, I, I would say, underprivileged teenagers um, and younger who come in for an after-school program. Um, when I was a campus vicar here, I volunteered uh, at Lighthouse as well. So we got this really good long-standing partnership with Lighthouse. So when we have these students who are just eager to serve, we said, Pastor, what can I do? say, so we got a great place for you at Lighthouse. So we have a few students who are heading there regularly, and we have some graduates who have gone on to get jobs working at uh, Lighthouse full-time. So it's a great partnership, great opportunity for our students to serve. You know, finally, I know that, that you both have been involved in many remarkable things here uh, at WLC. Maybe Rev Shev, is there, is there a moment that, that stands out to you? I don't know if there's a moment, but I've had three experiences, uh, three opportunities uh, to take students to China um, and to open their eyes to a completely new culture and really to open my eyes as well. Um, and, and probably in those moments, my favorite time is always Sunday morning um, when we'd gather in a, in a house church, you know, um, a place that is safe and, uh, and maybe looking out over um, the city and knowing how desperate they are to hear the gospel and knowing what's going on in, the, in this small room and how the Holy Spirit is at work and how Jesus is being proclaimed. And, and then the prayer of that many more people might be influenced by that. Um, it, it, it's powerful stuff being, being um, across the world um, for, for a guy who really never got out of the, the Midwest uh, living or ministry-wise, um, just... Uh, uh, amazing uh, opportunity and so thankful um, for the people who support those kinds of those kinds of trips and then to know we had two young women who went over there to serve in Friends of China ministry um, and others who just appreciated the opportunity to um, to be exposed to, to something new and, and awesome so um, that's probably my favorite. Pastor Lyon how about you? Yeah, now that I'm uh, entering school year seven, I've had the blessing of seeing now a few alum. Uh, you know, you get around here long enough and you get to see what do the alum do after they graduate. 
And it's been an awesome blessing uh, the last couple of years to have some of those alum come back that I spent a lot of hours with um, to come back and say thank you. Uh, one story that uh, just really sticks out to me, and, and I shared this in, in our Synods magazine in Forward in Christ, so I'm allowed to use her name because it's already out there in public, uh, and she she's, was uh, part of that article as well. Her name is Caitlin Lamb, graduated a couple years ago. She walked into my office her freshman year, which was also my first year here. And she said, Pastor Lyon, I don't know what confirmation is, but I think I want that. So I said, okay, let's talk about what confirmation is. And um, I, I walked her through a Bible information class, um, you know, shared the truths of, of God's word with her. And she said, I think I'd like to get connected with, with a church here in town. Um, so I, I took her around to three different churches. We visited with a couple of pastors and, and she ended up getting um, confirmed in the Wisconsin Synod at St. John's in Wauwatosa. So it was awesome to see that play out. But the coolest part was when she graduated, she moved out to Delaware. I think it was Delaware. And um, I got a text message from her after her first Sunday there. She found a church out there and she didn't even know if she was gonna find a church. She text messaged me and said, Pastor Lyon, this morning was awesome. The pastor came up, introduced himself. He asked me to teach Sunday school. Like she is just on fire and just super excited. So what a blessing it was for me to call up the pastor and say thank you that you welcomed in one of our WLC alum and, uh, and it meant the world to her. Um, so to see how, how those alum are just going out in the world and thriving and impacting their churches is, uh, Boy, you, you can't beat that. That's cool stuff. Well, what a, a remarkable story. And, and thank you both for all that you do to guide our campus family, and particularly within the spiritual realm of what we do. And if you would like to learn more about our campus ministry program, please feel free to reach out to uh, Pastor Lyon or Rev Shev. And well, you can also visit our website at wlc.edu. Thank you so much. Thank you.